Hey, Mark Tackner here, and welcome to my movie theater room. Today, I'm going to show you how I transfer 16 millimeter film with sound. Now, this is one way to do it. This is the way that I like to do it. It may not be the best way, but I get really great results and people like it. So here I have an Elmo 16 millimeter sound projector. And I have one of my Sony cameras that shoots in 35 millimeter film look right beside it. And I have the audio coming out of the speaker jack of the Elmo into this Ultra DI and then out into my camera. And the reason why I do that is to decrease the audio levels and it makes for much cleaner sound. On the back of the camera, you can see I have settings. It is 1080, 24p, and I have the shutter speed of 24. I have the lighting set for sunlight, and the ISO is at 1600. Now there's a couple important things when you have to film off of a screen, like what I'm doing now. First thing is the height of the lens. See how I basically have the lenses matched up the same height? I eyeballed it because it doesn't have to be exact. It just has to be really close. And the other thing, see how I have this lens so close to the projector? It's because I'm shooting it and it's coming in at an angle. So if it comes at an angle, that means it's going to be skewed. And I want to try to get that skew as minimal as possible. Now, you may think, well, why don't you just put the camera on the other side so it's that much closer to the lens? Well, it's because I have everything over here that I have to load in, and I can't have the loading being blocked by the camera. So it has to be on this side for this particular setup. And uh, when you see the final result, I'm not doing much tweaking to the edit at all, and it looks really good. You're probably thinking and asking, Mark, there's got to be a better way for you to be able to transfer film than just shooting it off of a screen and then recording it off the screen. Yeah, I'm sure there is a better way to do that because Hollywood does it. But when you're stuck in a small town like Colorado Springs and you get maybe two jobs a year for 16 millimeter film, you know, you're not gonna run out and spend $100,000 on a processing machine to do two small reels or four small reels a year. This thing cost me a little over a grand. So I think people are getting a really great deal and it looks absolutely phenomenal. So I can't wait to show you the end product. Let's talk about the screen behind me really quick. This is my movie theater. And the best way to get any kind of image, it's not the projector so much, it is what it's being projected against. So I have a nice Epson movie theater projector that I watch movies on, but if I replaced and put like a, a white sheet up there, yeah, I could watch the movie on a white sheet, but it wouldn't look too great, right? So what I'm doing is I have a really, 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 really nice screen that I watch my regular movies on. So I'm going to use this projector and I'm going to project it on that super awesome, nice screen that I have. So if you reach out through your computer screen or your whatever screen and feel it, you're gonna feel that it's nice and smooth and a rubbery texture. So let's get started with the initial process here. The film that we are transferring today is this old movie that came with this projector actually. Uh, it's called Snooky: The Adventures of a Black Bear. It's very exciting. I'm gonna use this as uh, to show you how I transfer with sound. Now I know this has sound. I'm sure you sort of can see it. Here's the leader that they have on it. So here's the sprocket holes on the other side of the sprocket holes is a magnetic audio recording that you can probably barely see there. So that's giveaway number one. 
and how I know like this one here doesn't have audio, it's because it has sprocket holes on both sides. So, pretty cool. If you're a media nerd like me, it's pretty cool. I basically have my camera set up already, but I have to do some fine tuning adjustments to make sure that it's all in focus. So uh, that is why I'm cho choosing this reel because it's so large that it gives me some time to get everything focused and in an order. Honestly, this reel, it only runs like a minute and a half. So by the time I, I put it through and I get it going and I try to get everything set up, it's gone. And, it's, and I have to start over again. So I'm using Snooky to uh, get everything set up and ready to go for this one. You can see there's a path that the film's gonna go through and it has this leader already. So all I need to do is follow the path and push it in with this particular machine. That looks pretty good. And this is like an audio auto catch. It's nice. See, it already catches it really sweet. Okay, so in order for me to actually do this all properly, I do need to shut off the lights. But I can at least get it going. Okay, we're on the other side. Now what I have to do is I have to make sure that this camera is in focus. So I have the shot zoomed in but I'm leaving some extra space around so I can do cropping later. So I'm listening to the audio right now. And the audio is terrible. Snooky comes up and takes the banana from Donald's back pocket. And that is because I don't have the Ultra DI set up. And that's what it would sound like if I just ran the projector straight into the camera. She eats the peeling. Can you hear the change? One day. Snooky was pulling hard on the chain. It broke. And Snooky was free. Can you hear that? So I changed the decibel levels and the attenuation of the Ultra DI and it cleaned everything up really, really nice. I think it's time for me to put my client's stuff in and get that rolling and see what we have. We need to shut the lights off so we can see a really nice picture. So that literally took maybe a minute and a half to transfer. It's loud, isn't it? It is loud. So I'm gonna rewind. I'm gonna get the other few that I have to do done. And then I'm gonna take it up to the editing and we're gonna see how it looks at the end. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video, that it was sort of fun, educational, a little nerdy, right? And uh, make sure to subscribe, like, and ring that bell for future notifications. Have a great day.